Welcome, my name is William Bissett and I'm on a journey to better health and a better life and this is week two. It's been a real interesting week actually but I had to go to the doctor for some blood tests and well she asked me about exercise. So William how's the exercise going? What have you been doing so far? Well is riding horses good exercise? Riding a horse? Why is that William? Well the oddest thing happened. I went down to Caroline Bay because they've got some exercise equipment outside and I thought I'd give it a go. But anyway, this girl who apparently follows me on Facebook, she's ridiculously good looking. She came up to me and asked if I wanted to go home with her to horse around. What are you doing? Oh, just trying to do some exercise. Well, why don't you come around my house and we'll horse around? Oh, that's a bit forward of her. Well, that's what I thought actually too. But actually she's got some fat ponies and she thought the exercise would do both of us good. What do you mean? Well, I've got quite a fat horse at home that... Right, horse riding. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Okay, but I have no idea how to ride a horse. You're going to show me. Yeah, well, we'll just get you sat on top and just walking around until you're comfortable. But you do need some protection. That was quite fun, actually, but I'll be honest, I didn't feel that it was much exercise. In fact, I started falling asleep. But I'll be honest, Doctor, I don't know what it was. I I started, my heartbeat was going mad and I was starting to sweat and I was starting to feel really funny inside. It was like, it was like I was doing lots of exercise. I, I can't really explain it. It was like butterflies in my tummy. Well, what do you think that was? It sounds like you're in love, William. You see, this is the deal. It's 7.30 at night time. I'm stuffed. I've just finished work. Normally, I just get something that's easy, go home, go to bed. But you know, i really got to try harder, so I'm here at the supermarket. And far out, what do I get? You know, this is, clearly I need some direction uh, about planning my meals. But in the meantime, I'm what seems to be choosing better options. Um, there's some salads there in the deli. They seem to be healthy, so I'll grab those in the meantime and um, you know, and, until I perhaps talk to more specialists and work out exactly what I'm doing. In the meantime, I feel like a real egg talking to the camera with everyone watching. I want to say this to you, the people of New Zealand. I did not fall in love with the horse girl. But um, moving forward, as you can see, I'm dishing out some what seems to be very healthy salads, certainly healthier than what I normally would have. And by topping it off with some flaxseed oil means I make sure I get those omegas and those essential fatty acids. Well, ideally, I really need to learn how to prepare my own meals. But, you know, in the meantime, it's very, very practical. I'm always on the run, and it's certainly a lot healthier option than normal. I'm the general manager at Pope Print, and I'm often asked to go to lots of business functions. In fact, Timaru Girls High School had a function, and they invited me along there. And of course, lots of temptation with food being dished out. But I was a very, very good boy. I resisted eating too much, and uh, I was feeling very proud of myself for that. In the weekend, I had to meet up with a friend. In fact, he was a Timaru Herald reporter, so I had to be careful. Now, Matthew, I want this off the record. Of course, William, what is it? And you know what? To make it easy for myself, I just simply asked the staff member what they suggested would be a good, healthy option for me. OK, we have a lovely Thai beef salad. It's got a spicy sauce, which is actually made here and it has all our organically grown um, vegetables. His peanuts, which is a good suppressant for the hunger pains. So I think you would find that's probably your best bet. Oh, that's, um, that sounds really healthy. Uh... No, you can't have that. That's not on your diet. Hey, beef salad. One thing that has made this journey a little bit difficult is I don't yet have a plan. And what happens is it's time to eat, I'm hungry, I've got no idea what I'm going to have and I'm trying to think, oh, what can I do? Where can I go? What can I, what can I, what can I eat? And so what happens is that when I'm really hungry and I'm starting to try to justify perhaps having something less unhealthy. So it's pretty dangerous. There's been a few times I have compromised 
on eating too healthily but again not too stressed about it as long as overall I'm eating better and that's exactly what I'm doing and I'm very proud of it I'm feeling so much better I'm feeling so much more energy and I'm really excited because I know that I'm going to succeed in my journey to a better health and a better life I'll conclude this video by uh, the doctor talks to me about my blood results and I'm quite pleased about those as well I'll see you next week so William, we've got your blood test results back in. Uh, certainly your blood tests are very much improved from what they were a while ago, particularly your liver and your cholesterol results. Your liver is essentially normal based on the blood test results and your cholesterol results are much improved from what they were previously. Still not quite where we'd like them to be, particularly what we call the bad cholesterol, or LDL cholesterol. We'd like to get that more um, in, within the normal range if we can um, and the ways to do that would be by reducing those particularly fatty foods and the other things we talked about last time. Um, with your liver it would be good if you can avoid heavily processed foods such as fried chicken um, and products with a lot of colours and flavours in them and that will help to maintain a healthy liver as well as obviously reducing your, your alcohol levels.